to render an image in 3ds Max, we need to have a camera object. We could technically render the perspective view, but that's not a good idea because we don't have the ability to, for example, animate that perspective view. And we don't have interesting features like the physicality of a camera. We'll need to create a camera in order to render an image. Go over to the Create menu, and you've got a category called Cameras. You'll see there are three types here, Physical, Target, and Free. Target and Free are actually the same thing. They are so-called standard camera. And the only difference is that the target camera has a look at point, which means you can rotate the camera by moving that look at point. The physical camera is a new camera, which is actually much better and gives you a lot more power and a lot more control. The physical camera can be targeted or free. It's only one button here, but you can convert it back and forth. And in fact, the standard camera has two buttons but it can be converted back and forth as well. Let's make a physical camera because that's really the way to go. Click on physical and you'll see in the create panel, there is a switch that says targeted. If that's on, then you're going to create the camera in targeted mode. And if you wanna create a target camera, you should do it in the top viewport or maybe the perspective view, but definitely not the side or front views. If you create the camera in any other view other than top or perspective, then it'll be rotated in a really strange way. You need the camera to be level to the horizon, at least to start with. To create this targeted physical camera, click in the top viewport and hold the mouse down and then drag. The first time you click, you create the camera. And then when you drag out, you're setting where you want that target to be and then release the mouse and the camera and its target had been created. We can see that here in the front viewport. We've got a camera and its target. It's created right at the ground plane. You'll need to move it up. And you can do that in numerous ways. You could actually use the Move tool and select the camera and its target. The way to do that is to click on the line that joins the two of them. And now I've actually selected both. And then I can use the standard Move tool here in the front view. Just right click to activate that front view without losing the selection. And then I can move these both up. Then we need to actually activate the camera in one of the views. We could use the perspective view or any of the views. I don't really need this left view right now, so I can load my new target camera into this panel. And to do that, I'll go over to the name of the camera or the name of the viewport, which is listed as left here. Click on that and then choose cameras and then the name of the camera, which is Fizz Camera 01. And now we're looking through that camera's lens. We can choose different display modes. We can hit F3 here to see shading. And now if we move the camera or its target, we will frame the shot differently. I've selected the target in the top view here. And as I move that around, you can see we're rotating or panning to take in different parts of the scene. If we leave the target stationary and move the camera, then we're orbiting around that target. That's something that's really difficult to achieve in the real world, but here in CG, it's really easy. Pretty cool. So that's a target camera. And in the next movie, we'll look at creating a free camera and also adjusting some of the parameters.